Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is the M8A7 best class setup video for you guys today. The M8A7 is a very good assault rifle. It is unlocked at level 55, so a lot of people overlook it for the simple fact that they don't have it all the time, especially me. I'm going through the prestiges. I don't really have this gun a lot, but I did stop at level 55 on a few of my prestiges to play with it and to make this video for the best class setup for you guys. So, let me talk about this M8A7 and give you guys the best class setup to do the well with this gun. And before I get into that, make sure you guys click subscribe if you guys are new to my channel also be sure to drop a like on this video I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me so the m8a7 obviously is a four round burst assault rifle and has a high rate of fire with minimal recoil now this gun has very little recoil you really don't need the grip on it however the m8a7 does have more time in between bursts than the um, XR2 it does has does have a bit more damage than the XR2 and you cannot hold down the trigger on this burst weapon now the burst weapons and black ops 3 are very very powerful however on the m8a7 a7 you're not able to hold down the trigger you're going to have to tap it like a traditional burst weapon such as the famas from mw2 or something like that so let me show up on screen right now my favorite class to run with the m8a7 and this class setup is going to be a little bit weird but it basically is uh, I'll, I'll explain why i like to run this class so let me show it up on the screen right now the m8a7 class i like to run is with the red dot the iron sights are not very good on the m8a7 i definitely recommend either the red dot or an elo sight or if you like to sit back more you could run an acog or a recon scope or something like that then what I like to run here is high caliber and the reason for high caliber is headshots become one burst with this thing Just bam to the head. This thing is absolutely crazy when you throw on a high caliber You can burst people right in the dome piece and end them instantly Which is a lot of fun to do with this gun and it's really good for going for diamond camo as well So that's why I like to run high caliber and then my second one is stock This is a good gun for strafing and stuff like that However, if you don't want to run stock you could mix it up for a fast mag or something like that I just don't find that any of the attachments are really that need you don't need them really Really much on this gun fast mags or extended mags could be decent grip you don't really need quick draw you don't really need because this isn't really a rushing gun it's more of a sitting back gun um i guess you could use um i mean that's what that's just basically why i like to run stock at high caliber i know it's kind of weird but that's basically why and that's my thought process behind it so then let me show my perks it up i run no secondary on this thing you don't really need a secondary wow. you're going to be sitting back and playing sort of defensive with this m8a7 i run overclock and then ghost and basically this is because i like to get my specials a lot with this thing and my specials that i like to use is either the scythe or the combat focus which will just help me stack up my kill streaks uh, very fast as well and then goes to stay off the mini map uh, obviously scavenger for those unlimited grenades and to sit back and be able to not run out of ammo and then my last perk i'm going to be running tactical mask um you don't really need blast suppressor on this gun. I've literally played games where I jump maybe double jump maybe a few times per game with this thing because this gun is ideally made for a map like Nuketown where you can post up behind the car and spawn trap the people um, like you guys have seen in my How to Prestige Fast video. I mean this thing is absolutely deadly and it's very good at posting up and just picking people off left, right, center, pop down for a reload, pop back up and pick people off more. That's what this gun is very good at and that's what the strengths of this gun are. So if you're that kind of type of player, I recommend using the M8 day seven however this gun is only at the last level so if you do really you know test it out as soon as you hit level 55 test out this gun and if you really fall in love with it use your prestige token bring this thing over to the next prestige and get it diamond or get get it gold at least to help uh, go for all the diamond assault rifles um this gun is pretty good it's definitely I, i'm not sure i like the xr2 better than the m8a7 but the m8a7 is still a strong assault rifle so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the m8a7 Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to rate it. Get an R8. Rate this M8. Mate. Thanks for watching, guys. I don't know what I'm saying. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Rate the video. R8. Mate. M8. Thanks for watching, guys. M8A7. Drop a like, and I'm out. Peace.